welcome to the Company of Women International presenting to you again today the Beauty from Ashes TV program and we are telling you things that have become beautiful out of ash heaps in the lives of people that we have run into and the activities the Lord is taking all of us into. And I want you to meet my guest again. This is Rifle Scudder. <laughs> I want to say shooter. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I have flubbed his name so badly. <laughs> it's terrible. And and Pastor Jesse of Brittingham. Mm -hmm. And Rita Willis. Really, yeah, Rita Willis. Willis. I want to put Reverend <laughs> in front of your name. That's okay, mm. too. <laughs> That's okay, too. <laughs> okay. And, of course, Pastor Rondo. Kruger. Mm -hmm. We're so delighted to have her with us. I couldn't really operate without her. <laughs> She's my anchor. You know what that's like? <laughs> um, we were talking on the previous programs were about penitentiary and youth groups and so forth. And so there is still more information that we, we need and we're going to exchange. And this is a place where we can learn from each other. And Rita, you said you were so interested in what was being said about the inside, outside. Yeah, that's I, I got inside, the right outside, bad, yes. Okay, so would you like to start asking Rifle about it right now <laughs> so you can get it right off the, yes, from I, the horse's I, mouth? <laughs> I was sitting on the outside listening in at the conversation and uh, I was engaged with the two young people there and I heard Inside Outside Dad in reference mm -hmm. to the prison ministry and I um, I was sharing with the, the, pr uh, the prison ministry team from my church, Third Street, and I said, guys, we probably need to, to do some prayer, some praying and ask God, what's the ne next level that he would have us to do <laughs> with and our prison yeah. ministry as we've been doing it for so many years? And it's quite effective, please don't get me wrong. Right. Um, but I said, maybe there's another aspect or mm -hmm. somewhere else that God would have us take See, that. when you and ask, he ear, always answers. And as soon as I heard it, my ear turned like that. And I heard inside, outside dads. Mm. And I said, that's it. Because quite often in the circle, because we sit in a perfect circle, and uh, we ask the young men, do you have children? And quite a few of these young guys have children. They do. Mm. That's right. Mm. And those children have been affected. Mm -hmm. And Great. will down the road, it will come out somehow. Right. And affect society. And I had asked you before, what were the ages of these? Yes, these are from 14 to 19. Mm -hmm. And several of them have children. Right. So when I heard the inside outside dad, I said, that's it. That's it. So okay. I just thank you for sharing that and I want to talk more about that mm -hmm. um, as, as to how our church can get involved with the prison ministry to take it to the next level. Okay. Because well, this is a good time for you to tell it because there are going to be other ministries that are listening. Mm -hmm. um, I can get the number of mm -hmm. the person who actually came to do the training for us. Sure. And give you the number, his email okay. address. I don't have it on me right now. Right. But I, mean, I can get right. it to you. If anyone is interested after the program, you can obviously phone telephone number will be on the screen and we can get that to sure. you. Yes. And any information that you need more about that, mm -hmm. you'll be able to get to them. So just, okay. just give us a call and we can, you know, I could send you all the information and if anyone would okay. phone in, we could just give it to them. Mm -hmm. Because this is something that I had never heard of it before. Mm -hmm. And I think this is and certainly the next step. Yes. And it is certainly what God is calling mm -hmm. for, the Father's hearts to be turned to yeah. the children. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it's right, right. in line. It's right yeah. in line. They started He's this one of the prisons that they they started this program in is a prison called Angola yes. mm. in Mississippi, ah. which was the the hardest, most deadliest sure. city in America. Yeah. And just the, the warden said, he said, when the word came in, immorality went out, violence mm. went out, and the people wow. do a Bible study, they do a, a course there where they can get a degree. And this is the DVD that they show of a testimony where they, mm. they, for one day in that prison, where the average sentence is 93 years mm. if you get out. Wow. There are over 5,000 people there. If you're lucky to get out, if you're not on death row, you'll be there for 93 years. So the chances are you will not get out. Sure. But what they do through this program is another program called Malachi Dads, where it speaks mm -hmm. about the heart of the fathers, you will yeah. turn mm -hmm. to the and so on. Mm -hmm. 
they do this and in this DVD just the testimony that they show the warden shows the one day in that prison that was the most bloodiest the most horrific jail yes. in America where they right. opened the doors of that prison for one day and let those people who've been through that program mm. their children come in for a whole mm. day mm. and play with their dads mm. and they roll on the grass and they mm. sit and they Wonder. just spend a whole day it's together and that's so beautiful that, that's the it's, it's just someone who heard from God Mm. This is what I want you to do. This is how it works. Mm -hmm. And they heard, they did it, and now it's, it's changing lives. Mm -hmm. And once again, because it's changing mm -hmm. one life, changing the family. Sure. We were just speaking on the previous program how the devil tries to separate families. That's right. If he can come in and destroy the That's family, right. he destroys the society, he destroys the nation. That's right. So even those young guys, as mm -hmm. young as they are in, oh. the, in the facility at Beaumont, they've got children. That's well, right. and most especially they, because they've got all their lives ahead of them. Yes. And they themselves are still children sure, themselves, yeah, so they need sure, training, they need help. Sure. They didn't have that, exactly. you know, so th mm. this program is just of God. Reverend Melvin had did share with you all, and I was taking notes as he was talking about the angel tree that we do, angel tree ministry, mm -hmm. and these are children of incarcerated right. yes. people, mm -hmm. young, young men and women. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is to, you know, er, you know, do Christmas gifts and so forth, that's fine and good. But now, here's the next level. Mm -hmm. Once again, we are a connectional church in the Methodist Church, mm -hmm. and this, you know, this can affect so many states across the United oh, States yes. as oh, it yes. is, is doing mm -hmm. across. You know, mm -hmm. when you're saying it's Ar Arkansas. Uh, this was in, uh, in uh, Louisiana, Louisiana Mississippi. Yeah. yeah, sure. But I can see this see just many other taking states. wings. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for you that. You know, but you were saying our prison ministry is going well. And if you read the book of Corinthians, Paul talks here, he says, you know, we move from glory to glory. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So when something is going well, yeah. if the level of glory is there, then only can you move from that to the next level of glory. Yes. Right. Many people yeah. read that verse and they think things are not going well. Praise God, the Bible says we go from, it doesn't say we go from mess to glory. <laughs> it right. says we go from yeah. glory, glory to glory. Yes. So when God has given you something to do, and you make that little thing, how small you may think it is, Excuse glorious, mm -hmm. the next thing will come. And you go from, I know it's talking about the Old and the New Covenant, but the revelation there, deeper revelation, is whatever He's called you to do. If you're not doing that right, if there's no glory in that, don't expect God to allow the next level of glory to come. That's mm -hmm. right. So your level of ministry that you're doing in the prison, it is glorious. It's changing lives and you're faithful. You've been doing that now for 20 years. Mm. Can, you Can you imagine going out every third Sunday, mm. taking your time to go out to bless somebody else and not mm. expect anything for them? Mm. And look at the smile on her face. That's right. That's right. That's right. And now it's like, okay, this is what's happening. Man, you've been faithful in what you say is little but it's changing lives, yes. okay, it's time for the next level of glory. And we move from glory to glory to glory. That's right. I imagine that you see some of those young people uh, finish up and get out, do you? Oh yes, we do. And we, we hear from them. Mm -hmm. They cool. write us letters. We've had several to visit our I church. Mm -hmm. And when they walk in, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And they all say, I'm here, when they stand up and they ask for visitors. Mm -hmm. And they'll stand up and say, we are, um, uh, we know, you know, we mentioned some of our names, and uh, it's just a blessing from mm. heaven. And their families come with them. Amen. And so, um, God is in this. Mm -hmm. Well, can you imagine anything that would thrill a congregation more mm. than that? Amen. Right. Wow, yeah. that's mm. tremendous. Mm -hmm. Tremendous. Yeah. Now, this is encouraging you, too. This is encouraging me because I like to get in both programs. I like to bring both both programs into my church. The Angel Tree I'm familiar with, mm -hmm. but we've never really got the information that we need sure. uh, to make this happen. Sure. So I'm hoping today before we leave sure. that I can get this information mm -hmm. from you mm -hmm. because anything that we can bring into the church to give away, we need to sure. do it. Uh, I went out today passing out flyers for my church and one of the things that I told them, I said, we are giving church. I say, you know, so many times the church says, what can the people do for the church? Mm -hmm. But our church says, what can we do for the people? Okay. Well, because bless your heart, Pastor Jesse. <laughs> because it's in the serving capacity that you're really going to be blessed. Mm -hmm. And he was saying something, Rifle was saying something a few minutes ago. And he was talking about how that when God uses you and the job is well done, 
you feel so blessed. Mm -hmm. And when you serve and you walk away from people and you see the smiles on their faces, mm -hmm. because when you got there, it wasn't a smile on their face at all. And sometimes it's hard to crack through that. <laughs> you know, it really is. But when you crack through that and you walk away and you leave them smiling, right. you really fulfill the purpose that God yeah. sent you out to yeah. do. Yeah. 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 So before... Uh, you guys leave today. I really want that information because sure. any information that we can get <laughs> sure. to bring into our church is is fulfillment of the ministry. That's so true. I mean, sometimes you go into the prison and the class that I teach on the study methods, helping us to renew the mind according to Romans 12, verse 1 and 2. And the first time you go in there, 20 people in this class and they look at you <laughs> and they what are you going to teach me? What are you? Why are you here? You know, like you said, they're hard. Some of them mm -hmm. have done things. Some of them have had a, a horrific life. You can't expect them to be smiley and happy when someone comes right. in. They want to know, like, what are you here to do? You know, don't, don't, don't just talk. Let me see, you know. Yes. And then you start doing the program, but obviously it's based on the Word of God and you go yeah. in and just, and, and in the beginning of this course that I do, it starts off with, the word of God that says where David writes in Psalm 138, I believe it is, he says, I am fearfully and wonderfully, wonderfully made, made. Mm -hmm. and that my soul knows very well. And to be able to say to those people, do you know that you sitting in this chair, in this prison, you are fearfully and wonderfully made? Mm. They don't. Many of them haven't heard mm. that. They don't. And you they speak don't. just about the love of God and the forgiveness of Jesus and the cross and the blood and all of that. And some of those people sit there and they, they start crying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they've, they've never, never heard, heard anything. That. They it's don't know. True. They've heard of a God of anger and with a stick in his hand and you broke the law. That's why he put you here and he doesn't want you out. Yeah. But you come and you tell the truth about he's paid. There's a way out. He's still got a good plan. You are precious in his mm -hmm. eyes. Mm -hmm. They haven't heard that. And then they start crying. I mean, and this is in prison. These are people who have done bad things. Well, and because hard they things. think when they've done these bad things that God's mad at them. Yeah. And, right. they're, and this is what it's they've been not, told yeah, most of them. You come in and you say that. And then, as you say, then when you leave the class, they completely, they, <gasps> you know, this is very funny. I um, went into, and, and a person was coming out very, very soon. And after the class came back and said, I wish I can stay a bit longer so that I can sit in more of your classes. Mm. Do you think they'll allow me to stay more? I said, no, oh. your day for parole is up. Thank you for the compliment, but I don't think they're going to let you stay. She was mm. just hearing for obviously the first time, mm. the love of Jesus, that mm. he's not, and he's got a, per Ephesians 2 verse 10, you are the workmanship of Christ Jesus, yeah. Yeah. created unto good works that he's yeah. predestined. So. We've all made mistakes. The fact mm. that you're sitting here, this is not your identity. Right. This is not who you are. You are washed in the blood, a child of God. Mm -hmm. There's no one that hasn't made a mistake. Mm -hmm. But there's no one that the arm of the Lord is not too short to get hold of. Amen. Repentance is there for all of us. Mm -hmm. And when they hear that, as you said, that hardness just becomes a so, smile. Mm -hmm. And they just enjoy mm -hmm. seeing and hearing about the love of Christ. So that's what we all are doing. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what someone did for us. Is that not right? Yeah. Someone right. came and told me. Amen. You hoodlum, Amen. this is what you did, but this is how much Amen. Jesus loves you. And the Bible says it's the goodness of, of God, God that brings God. man to repentance. Not That's the right. law, not the finger, not the judgment. Mm -hmm. But when you hear right. about His goodness, yes. how can you say no to that? Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, have you uh, had some to come and visit your church, Harvest uh, Church? Not yet. Uh, the program that we do, the people who are in the class, they come out within anything from you know, sh a short time up to 18 months. Mm -hmm. So some of the, the gentlemen will be coming out very soon, within a month or two. Okay. And then they, they said that they would come. But I mean, it's not just me. I mean, it's not just our church. There are other churches. Mm -hmm. I know uh, ba uh, Bon Air Baptist, they're right. very, very involved. Mm -hmm. Oh my, there's they're so many of them that go in and do years. that. There's they so do. many guys who go in. So that the people in the class, they can obviously choose whatever church they yes. want to go to. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not that, it's not about me and my right. church and that's where right. it's about mm. the body. Right. Yes. That's right. If you feel that this Baptist, that Methodist, that whatever church, Pentecost, you go there where God yeah. calls you to so be. Right. That's where you will flourish. That's where your talents and gifts would come out. That's where people have a place and a need for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But people have not yet come, but there are some there who are coming mm -hmm. out in a couple They're of months who said, mm -hmm. we, we, we really, really want to visit mm -hmm. your church, mm -hmm. so that would be nice. Mm -hmm. But I, I, uh, I'd like to say something uh, c concerning what you said. When you were talking about what you say to them, I, call, I taught a, uh, one time on kingdom words. Mm -hmm. 
And kingdom words are words that builds up where they've been told they never be nothing. You just like your daddy. You just like your mama. And if you hear that long enough, you believe that. Mm -hmm. yes. So when you come with kingdom words, mm -hmm. kingdom words has a tendency to erase uh, that data that was in them mm -hmm. and, and usher in words that build up. Mm -hmm. words that change and rearrange right. their thinking right. because it's here Amen. and the enemy Amen. wants to program in the, them in here because if he can get you here he can get you anywhere right. this is a command center this is where you win it and this is where you lose that's it that's the biggest battlefield that's the biggest years. battlefield mm -hmm. and so if you can just the kingdom words will tell them you're not a thug you're mm -hmm. a royal priesthood mm -hmm. kingdom words will tell them yeah you messed up but God has fixed you up. You're a new creation in Christ. Yeah, yeah. You see, and I tell so many guys because we've heard bad news for so long that I tell them, I said, Kingdom Word says, the good news is that the bad news ain't true. <laughs> 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 you know, and they just good. look at me and they just smile. But Kingdom Words mm. will change the atmosphere. Mm. People really don't believe that it'll change your yes. destiny. It'll change everything about you because what you're doing, you're speaking words that transform. Yes. Yeah. You're speaking words just like the man at uh, Jesus said, the words that I give to you, they're spirit and their life. You know, so I think uh, as the ministry, we're here, uh, we just keep speaking. You're somebody. Mm -hmm. You're not who they say you were to bring you here. Mm -hmm. But God has changed your life. So now begin to walk like you've changed. Begin to act like you've changed. Because sometimes we can change and we still want to hold on to right. what, you know, brought us there. But we have to begin to continue to speak life. Say, hey, you're a changed man. Mm -hmm. Talk like it. It's progressive. Walk like it. Hold your chest up. Mm -hmm. Out. Hold your head up. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a royal now. Yeah. <laughs> so That's a transition, you know. That's transition. transition. We've spoken on this program before about that, not <clears throat> to take away from the prison ministry, but, you know, Proverbs 18, 21, mm -hmm. death and life when the power That's of the right. tongue. Proverbs this is 6, 2, the yeah. you know, you're the, snared, snared by the, the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. so, and yeah, the words speaking, that we speak. Those are kingdom so words. So many of those people have just heard, you useless, you dumb, you stupid, you can't do mm -hmm. it, you're right. good for nothing. Right. You hear that, you so hear that, you start believing it, you start right. acting it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And the only way to break that is by, as you say, kingdom words. Mm -hmm. is Change the, word the words. Yeah. And Change the words. I had to learn mm -hmm. to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was... I was uh, with someone the other day, and this person has talked so negative, even about herself. And I would try to say the opposite, you know. And she got so mad at me one time, she hung the phone up. She <laughs> says, I know what I am. <laughs> but I went to visit mm. and I took her out to lunch. and. This negative got to go in it. So mm -hmm. I'm sitting there driving and I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind that negative spirit, shut it up. <laughs> I thought, I can't fill my ears with that. Mm -hmm. Well, shortly it, it changed. It eased off. She got it out of herself and, mm -hmm. I, and I let it go. But it's terrible. She really did get so angry at mm -hmm. me because I was trying to tell her that, you know, she okay, positive things. Sense. And she says, I know. I am, or how I feel, or something. But it, this is how it is so ingrained, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise God, look at here, yeah, four mm -hmm. ministers mm -hmm. just going mm -hmm. in <laughs> different places, different areas, telling the people, right. Jesus paid the ultimate price right. for you. That right. determines your right. worth. Right. Not what people say, you yeah. know, how valuable something is, is determined by the price that was paid. Right. You're not going to pay a lot of money for a piece of trash thing. So Try. Jesus gave everything, everything for you. That's how worthy and you are. And here are people best. going and telling the people the truth. Mm -hmm. That's marvelous. So they're hearing it Sunday after Sunday after mm -hmm. Sunday, mm -hmm. week after week. Eventually the truth will come and the truth will set you free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you hear it equated with their personal lives, it's like who in here has a child and they'll raise their hand. I say, could you imagine giving up your child for someone else? Mm -hmm. And they said, no. I said, well, that's what God did. Amen. The ultimate love. 
And then they sit there and they think about it. They say, mm -hmm. wow, it's deep. Mm -hmm. The reality of this mm -hmm. at times, it has to sink yes, in. Yes. And, and, and you know, a lot of them are under generational curses. Oh, yes. And that's, that's something that the church as a whole, we're going to really have to start dealing with because, you know, I, I, I was talking to this young man one time and he, he approached his mother. Her mother dealt with a lot of men. So she, she couldn't keep a husband. And so her son approached her one day, he didn't understand, and told her, Mom, I'm getting tired of every time I turn around, you're in a different relationship with someone else. Right. So a pastor came along and, and, and laid hands on her because he understood what it was that mm -hmm. was in her that made her feel like she had to always have a different person. Mm -hmm. And I say that to say this, a lot of those kids, that thing that was in the mama and that what was in the daddy mm -hmm. has transformed down into, it's a root there. Mm -hmm. yes. And the kingdom words will not just, sometimes we cut the root off, but we got to dig, dig that out. root up. Okay. The kingdom and word will kingdom dig words it will up. dig it out. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I think sometimes we, 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 we have to understand what's in that person mm -hmm. so that we can begin to deal with that person. But kingdom words can do it all. Now, Rhonda is good at this. This is what she's mm -hmm. dealing with all the time. Mm -hmm. She goes in and she finds out why people are having the problems that they're having, and she prays with them mm -hmm. before she ever leaves. And you yeah. are changing things all around with every patient mm -hmm. you've had. What did they do, call and give you 12 patients the other day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of it's just inner wounding. And if you get to the root and God heals that, then the rest will fall off. Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> inner healing is huge. I mean, people, people don't just land in a place. There was a process. I mean, I work with people. I, I'm working with people that are at the end of this process and not really had the intervention. Um, and so God, they're just as valuable as the That's youth, right. or you know, and there's still a lot to be done. And so it's coming in there and um, and sanctifying the land with the Word of God, mm -hmm. bringing the Word, bringing the truth. But the key thing is the love, loving people where they are, with mm -hmm. no expectation, letting people be who they are, because God can, it's the work of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. It's His work. It's His work to transform. It's our job to listen and to apply His Word as He gives it to the mm -hmm. person. Because you can give people too many kingdom words and it can blow them up. You, you mm -hmm. have, it's all discerning. You have to be led by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. You have to know how to minister to someone. You have to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what the wounding is. And, mm -hmm. and that comes through relationship. It's, it comes from being with people. It comes when you're sitting with the people and you learn about the people. God will give you wisdom and insight into that. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the Word of God transforms. And when they get the revel, it's letting God bring the revelation to them mm -hmm. because they have to know it. They mm -hmm. have to get it. And when they get it, it transforms them. And so it's really about listening, about loving. It's the truth that you know it's that the will truth. set you yes. free. That's right. Mm -hmm. It will. And the Word of God will. And it, it will not return void. It's just like I can go down there and we have like 65 people and you'll give one message, but you'll... This is the power of the Holy Spirit. When the Word is anointed by Him, that Word will speak to 65 people in a different way. Mm -hmm. And that's what's so powerful about the living Word of God mm -hmm. because He knows you have one message, but it speaks to people 65 different ways. Mm -hmm. And it affects them mm -hmm. and it changes them because they've gotten you know what they needed. It's like you sit in a congregation and you ask everyone to take notes and then you mm -hmm. had them stand up and mm -hmm. tell you what they got. Mm -hmm. Everybody will have something different like because telephone. yeah, because that's the power of the Holy Spirit and He's applying that word to that person mm -hmm. and that need. And that's why the Word of God is what needs to go forward. Um, and what, by the Holy Spirit, and That's they right. need it because this is what we need. This is what we need. <laughs> That's our life. Right. You know? right. It's our life. Yes. Praise the Lord, we'll run the clock mm -hmm. down Amen. again. <laughs> it goes fast. But it's yeah. transformed a community. Yes. We, yeah. It's changed, it's changed a whole community. I mean, really, just coming every other Monday night and bringing right. groceries. Right. Mm. It's, right. It's, if you would have seen it day one and day, year and a half, 
it's it's unbelievable the changes yeah. the that change you've seen in the, in the people, people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well Rhonda while you're talking we have uh, about two two minutes left would you like to just say a closing prayer mm -hmm. for us today Father, I thank you, Lord, that your word is alive and active, Father. I thank you, Lord, that your presence, Lord, where can we go without your presence, Father? It's with all the people that are watching right now that your presence is right there with them. And Father, all they have to do is just, Lord, surrender to you, Father. So I ask right now, Lord, that um, if there's anyone out there that does not know the Lord Jesus, that they would just simply say, Lord, come in my heart. I give my life to you. Lord, I need the blood of Jesus to cover me and cleanse me. And so, Father, this open the hearts of the people. You just invite him in, and he will come in, and he will lead you and direct you, and he will show you the things that you need to know. And so, Father, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your forgiveness and mercy and your grace, Lord. And I pray right now that you would touch everyone watching that needs you, Father, right now, yes. that their, your presence would be known to them. And, Lord, they would open their heart and receive you. We thank you for it, Lord Jesus, and we give you all glory and honor. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you so much. And I want to thank all of you for being with me today, too. But there is still something further that I want to talk about, and so uh, will you go on again with me? <laughs> sure. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> we'll just uh, just let the Lord bring it out. I think the Holy Spirit is beginning to touch on some things. Yes. Um, and I'd like for us to be able to um, be exposed to them. And um, I, I, you'll have to pardon me for laughing because I'm enjoying my technician <laughs> crawling around on the floor. <laughs> but thank you for letting us be with you. <laughs> And, and we're looking forward to being with you more, but hang on, because we're going to come back with a little bit more to discuss, all right? All right. We love you, we thank you, and God bless you. Mm -hmm. Call us and let us know if we can be a further help. All right? Bye-bye. Okay.